So, the first year I went, it was really successful. I kind of just like anything that I was drawn to, I just picked and bought. Um, second year I was probably a bit more particular, I was like looking for certain things and this year I was just kind of like So I had certain rules, so I could stay away from coats, I'm on a coat, coat, um, co coat buying ban? Speaking of, I did, I did, um, before I went to this fair, I did actually get a second hand coat which I'm going to show you because it's all about like preaching the fact you can get cool things for sustainable ways. Like this coat I got, before I went to the vintage fair, I got it from Cancer Research, for three pounds. It's not obviously not real suede or real fur, but like, holy shit, three pounds? Guess how much it was? What? Three pounds. What? Yeah. Why? Is that too much or too little? Too much. Too much, yeah, way too much. For a coat like this? Because I got this, I knew I definitely couldn't get any more coats at the actual vintage fair. Should I show you what I got? Right, so first off, I got this top. Now I, <coughs> now I love a bit of tie dye, but I'm very particular with what tie dye stuff I have. So I found this. Um, it's not really the kind of I like the swirly tie dye, but you know what? It is what it is. It will do. It's multicolored tie dye. It's got a pocket in it, and I hate tops that have like the pockets, but you know, you can't really see it. Um, and I think this is just, you know, even if I just sleep in it, and I think obviously tie dye never goes out of fashion. And I mean, I always love tie dye, so there we go. Let me try and make an outfit of this. And I mean, like, it's a tie dye shirt. <laughs> what more do you want me to do with it? Like, I feel like just chill it down, nice ripped jeans. Like, it's just, you know, it's easy. It's just like, whatever. Wear it some trainers. That's it, outfit done. <laughs> so next I ended up getting, so you can get quite a lot of like branded stuff at this. So I go to Worth the Weight Vintage and they do, do sales all across the UK. You pay what it weighs so they have little like scales around and you can like see how much things are worth. Um, and then, yeah, so I think I ended up paying 37 pounds for one, two, three, four, five items, which isn't, isn't bad considering this is branded. This is Pringle, is that what it is? Yeah, they had loads of Pringle jumpers. Um, I just thought this was like cute. It's 100% wool, um, and the colours are just nice and it's quite wintry, you know, like this, like tucked into some jeans I thought would be nice. Obviously the quality's great. Okay, this one, I feel like no one's gonna like but me. Um, th these, these are my jumper jeans, so like whenever I have like a nice jumper, I pair them with these jeans and I just feel, I feel some type of way. And obviously I added the pearls because I just wanted to be a little bit extra. I feel like it just, it needed a bit of pizzazz, but I love this. This is like a, like a, like a, like a casual brunch, like, I don't know, it just makes me feel happy and cosy and it's like wintry and sweet and it's gonna be warm, like it's warm. Um, let me take the pearls off so you can get like a better, like, it's just cute. Like, I'm now a bit short, like obviously I'd wear like heeled boots, but like, it's cute. I love it. Next, I thought this was a lot smaller than it was. I got it home and I was like, oh is a denim shirt so they have rails and rails and rails of denim like every kind of denim you can you can imagine so i have my oversized blue flannel checked thing which i also got a vintage fair not this vintage fair a different vintage fair <laughs> and i wear that all the time so i was like I, I want a denim one denim's classic and like you can just chuck it over anything um and i just think it's sick so i got this one it's by the brand chaser i have no idea what that is and it's actually massive but it's like i love this shade of denim like a dark blue it's like a good shade of denim like for a, for like a an upper half denim it, it's good there we go i feel like there's a couple outfits i can make with this here we go for the denim shirt i kind of love it this is like me doing errands i'm happy with this one i'm happy i guess you could wear it as a dress as well like with a belt around it i did try it i'm not that kind of girl and you could like wear it with heels wear it with like trainers like it's a denim shirt at the end of the day in it but this is how i would style it i also got this top at a vintage well kind of i went to like a tourist shop in so basically if you ever go to london london victoria they have a merch shop which is like near sainsbury's like at the victoria palace bit like up at the escalators and they have a like london merch shop and in the back of there they have a rail which is all thrifted or like vintage stuff but it's also so 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 cheap there's loads of like branded sportswear they even had like a cute halloween top like I had loads of cool stuff and I got this here, um, I think it was like a fiver, um, so yeah, love that, I'm all, I'm all like vintage
energy today. Great. And I also got a bag. Did I get a bag before? I feel like I've always looked at the bags, but I never bought one. So red bag, hello, Christmas time. And it's like a shoulder bag, but it's like big, which I love. And it's got so many compartments. So it's a bit like crease and stuff because I put it in the washing machine because holy fuck did it stink. Um, so it's got like your, your standard like phone, lip gloss pocket. Ugh. I'm gonna have to put like some tumble dryer sheets in it. And then it's got three compartments with a zip in the middle, like mate. And then it'll see it, it pops. I don't know what brand it is. That's the little logo. But um, yeah, I thought it was really cool. And it's slightly beaten up by the um, I've got plaited thingy. But I just thought this was really sweet. I could fit all of my junk in here and not have to wear my backpack all the time or my work bag, which is really annoying. I don't like taking my work bag out for like social events. So here we go. So yeah, that was everything I got at the vintage fair um, for £37 plus this new vintage Jurassic World top and this new <coughs> vintage coat for six pounds or three pounds why did i say six um yeah i hope you enjoyed the video i like doing these because they're a little bit more light-hearted and they break up the kind of seriousness of the health aspects of the rest of my channel um and also it just highlights the kind of things you can get second hand sustainably super cheap um so we love that um but thank you so 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 much for watching i as usual i'm proud of you i love you i think you're an amazing human being and you know it's it's halloween and it's october and it's all the festive happy vibes and everyone's feeling good and happy and you know all that jazz but yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you when i next see you